We're not 100% certain on what we're calling it, but right now we're going with chicken parm sub. Inspired by something I saw on the internet, we will be making this previously aforementioned chicken parm sub. Crispy chicken parm, melty cheese, quick little sauce. So quick, I already made it in another episode. It's great, you can make this, it's quick. It's delicious. All the flavors, the crunch, the textures, the it's gonna be great. Uh, we gotta bread some chicken though and get that happening first. So all eyes here. We've been here a thousand times. The chicken goes in the seasoned flour, then into the egg, and then into what often is panko in this case, cornflake crumbs. Love, love, love. So we begin. And I'm using uh, these little tenders. They're gonna be perfect for cramming inside of the uh, crispy roll. Ah, you'll see when we get there. Lightly flour. Everybody's coated. Then into the egg. Make sure everybody gets wet. As Guy Fieri would say, everybody in the pool. Let the extra egg drip off, then into the crumbs, and wait for the other one. So you're only messing up one hand at a time. Still with the messy hand, I'll give it a turn. Once it's done, I come in with the dry hand. Make sure it's all beautifully coated. And then onto a plate or something. I'm using a baking sheet with parchment on it. And just continue. I really don't have anything to say. Hope it's not too quiet. No, but there are people that write and say, just cook, man. Quit all the stupid talking. <laughs> and I think, how about don't watch, man? Go watch some show that doesn't talk. There's plenty of that stuff out there. If you don't like me, don't watch me. But don't watch me, hate me, and then write and criticize me. Because that's annoying as f***. We're good. Right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set these aside. We're gonna make a little garlic aioli. And our quick garlic aioli looks like this. A little booch of Japanese mayo. Of course, garlic. And I'm taking the easy way today. And I'm using what has become Chance in my favorite stir-in squeezable garlic. Right, Chancey? It's just so easy. We love so it. easy. Salt and pepper, some parsley, and a little squeeze of lemon. So we'll cut. I said little, I meant little like this. Nothing crazy. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And we mix. This is gonna go the bottom of our thing, whatever we're calling it. Perfect. Now, let's cook our chicken. All right, oil's at about 370. We'll put our pieces of chicken tender in. Careful, careful. And when everybody's seated properly, down we go. Sweet, five minutes. We're just cooking chicken, kids, that's it. You wanna make sure that they're not gonna stick together. That's all the worry you have here. And this could be shallow fried if you want it. This could be shallow fried if you want it. Oh boy, I repeated it because of chances clicking, now yours. <laughs> it could be shallow fried even if you wanted. Sure, nobody's sticking here. Good, 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 good. Great, great, great. Fabulous, fabulous. Good, great, grand, wonderful. <laughs> What's that from? Phantom? <laughs> I think so. Good, great, grand, wonderful. Oh boy. Those are fucking gorgeous. Fuck you, miss. Quick peek. Holy crap. They look good enough to eat. Fortunately, that's the plan. And we're there. So let them uh, drip off for a sec and we'll get ready to build them. Here's how this works. We start with a crispy French roll. We're gonna make an incision. Like here most of the way down, and open this kit up. Nice, like that, like that. So first thing in, it's gonna go some of our garlic aioli, like this. And we spread. Just a nice little layer across the bottom, oh fine. Is a little more gonna hurt? No, just gonna make it better. Okay, a little bit of shredded mozzarella, right there. And now our tenders come in like this. 
We'll put one this way. One this way. Oh, it's got that little... Oops. Mmm. Holy shit, is that good? Switch down. Now, time to get this, because we might get messy. Now the sauce from our mozzarella balls goes on top. Beautiful. And last before the oven is a bunch of mozzarella, wow. shredded. Astro, don't start. Mm. Open it up a bit and get a little bit more in here. This is going in until it's brown, bubbly, and gorgeous. And here we are. I changed it up there, did you notice? All right, let's get this kit off. Everything's hot. Everything's hot. Ow, ow, damn. All right, get this out of the way. And now, only two things to finish this kit off. You get out of there. Only two things to finish this kit off. A little parm for just a little Parmesanian sharpness. And just a little oregano. And you tell me if you want me to cut. I think you gotta cut it. I'm so scared, really scared. God, it's, I can't even. I don't think you cut all the way through. I, I didn't. I was trying to. It's very it's hot. Easy. Is that good? Do we oh, like that? Yeah. That's going to be delicious. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Wow. How do you eat this, Max? Oh, good God. The chicken, the sauce, the nonsense cheese, damn it. And a super crispy bun, that's the key. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this horrifying mess could be yours. Inspiration, thank you to the Foodatory and um, deliciousness from us. And it should be deliciousness for you in your home do this. Oh my God. It's so good.